Hey guys, welcome back to Team Foxer. In this episode we're taking care of rabbits in a garden. Please make sure you're subscribed as in the up and coming videos we've got another competition to win a Nightmaster NMR30 torch worth around £40. Hey guys, right, so I've arrived at a private location, it's actually a residential location, um, which is surrounded by fields uh, apart from the, the road in front of the house. So um, I've already seen a couple of rabbits up on the farm track, so I'll do my best to sneak up there with, I'm not too sure which gun to use straight away. I'm probably going to go with the 22LR for now, just because I know the range on that a little better. See how we get on with that, and I'll put the night sight on and film through it, even though it's daytime just so I can record a bit of action for you. So I'll try um, recording that first, see how that goes, and if I need to, then I'll switch to the air rifle um, as well. I'll be shooting off of sticks. So, um, right, let's get out, get set up, and see how this goes. Now, having been to this property previously several times before, I pretty much knew exactly where the bulk of the rabbits were going to be. I also knew that I would need a couple of different tools, because sometimes they tend to stick out quite long ranges, so therefore the 22LR was needed, and sometimes they would also be in quite close, and certainly when it got dark I knew that the Air Arms S510 would be better suited to the job in hand. I've got a bracket on each of the rifles just to make the transition uh, of night sight a little bit quicker and easier in the dark, going from one rifle to the other, and I'll put a link in the description to the kit that I'm using uh, in this video down below. The garden itself is quite extensive and quite mature in places, but I've got a couple of kids here and then what looks like possibly mum and dad out grazing there. So I'm starting tonight with the 22LR for the slightly longer range rabbits, and the first shot of this evening I actually missed it, and because I missed it I simply didn't have the confidence essentially to uh, carry on missing rabbits so I decided that I would go back and use the rifle that I did have a bit of confidence with. So I went straight back to the car and switched straight over to the Air Arms S510. The second rabbit there made it to the hedge before dropping down, so I went to pick up the first rabbit that I'd shot and then went to go and have a look down to the rear of the garden where usually there's quite a decent little hot spot for rabbits to hang around. Now it's very difficult to see here but there is actually a rabbit just to the bottom and the or just through the V of that tree, so I very carefully had to just thread a pellet right through these branches here, straight into the brain box. So I stalked in nice and quietly, just in case there were any more towards the rear of the property that I could take out as well. Now my stalking skills paid dividend as I managed to get to within about 15 feet of a muntjac and I just managed to almost catch it on camera. I got my camcorder out as it trotted off as it realised I was there and I managed to just get this little snippet on film here. Oops. 
Yep, a nice little Munchat book, that one. Right, so on the way back to the where well, I just shot that last rabbit, I thought I could do with a little bit of pigeon breast meat, so I thought I'd take a couple of pigeons that were knocking around in the garden also. I also managed to get a crow as well, but unfortunately I didn't get that one on film. That second pigeon there dropped like an absolute stone with a solid shot there from the air arms. Okay, right, so we mix the bag up a little bit. Let's get back onto the rabbits. Yep, it happens to the best of us. Even the cue ball assassin misses the odd thing or two. I guess it's that time of year but there seems to be a lot of young ones about but then they make quite good food for the raptors. Popping back to the truck to go and pick up my phone I noticed that young muntjack bump way across on the field. So with a few bits and bobs on the deck it was time to start using a night sight to its full advantage. Here I couldn't see any rabbits until I could pick out the eye shine of one right over in the corner there and you can almost see it just central to crosshairs now. So I decided I'd see if I could stalk into it. So after painstakingly getting into position, yep, the rabbit buggered off. However, I simply made up for it. About 20 minutes later, taking a pretty good shot straight through the bars of the main gate. Now looking at this little lot here, it looks like I'm going to have to come back again. What a shame that is. One of the better shots had that evening there, and just look at the height and the drop actually on this pellet, but look at the height of the rabbit gets uh, as soon as it's been slugged. So uh, yeah, a probably a 9.0 there for effort, very good. Thank you very much for watching guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe for chances to win the up and coming competition. You can get in contact with me with the email on screen and stay up to date with the instant action on Instagram at team underscore foxer. Take care, stay safe and happy shooting.